Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you the difference between a T8 LED tube and a T5 LED tube. Okay, now um, since there are, uh, now uh, you might remember the baton here, this is my Clevertronics test baton. Okay, you probably might remember this. Now one thing I had to do to this baton is I had to configure the T5 side to have an electronic ballast. Okay, that's the, because these T5 LED tubes are, um, are suitable for the electronic ballast, so that's why it's got an electronic ballast. Okay, so I actually had to swap the sides over. So the T8 is now on that side, the T5 is now on the opposite side. Okay, so so here they are. So we're going to compare, look at both of these and take a look at the difference between them. Okay, um, so so here's the baton here and here's the two LED tubes. This one here is the T8 and this one's the T5. Okay, since there are T5 LED tubes available now, I've been starting to collect T5 fittings. I've gotten a few. Okay, and I'm going to show you separate videos on those, but this is, um, I wanted to show you, show you the tubes that now you can purchase T5 LED tubes. So this is the T5 one, okay, and this is your T8. Now the T8 LED tubes have, have, are very popular, okay, I'm seeing a lot of them replacing the um, traditional fluorescent tubes. Okay, now let's say you might have a T5 baton and you want to change it to LED. Beforehand, you used to have to either, one, replace it with an LED, with a T8 baton, or two, replace the whole baton. But now, there are T5 LED tubes available. You no longer have to do that anymore. You can just simply put a new LED tube in it. Okay, and that's what I'm going to show you here. Okay. So, so this LED tube here is an 8 watt um, T5. And this would replace a F14 T5 fluorescent. This one here, the T8, is a 9 watt. And this would replace an 18 watt fluorescent. Okay, now the longer versions, which would replace the 28 watt and the 36 watt, once again, you can get those as well. The T5 LED tubes are available in two color temperatures. They're available in cool white and warm white. Okay, both of these are cool, cool white. Okay, now the um, T5 LED tube is, here is suitable for electronic T5 ballast. That's what a lot of T5 buttons have. So there's no need to bypass the ballast. You just simply put it in and away you go. Now be aware that you are limited to what kind of ballast that you can run this on. This tube is only suitable for standard electronic ballast. There's also high output ones. This tube cannot be used on those. If you have a high output ballast and you want to put this in, you'll need to change it to a low output ballast. So you need to put a standard ballast in it. Okay, so before you do put this in, open up and take a look at your electronic ballast and be sure it doesn't say high, high output on it. If it does say out high output, you will need to swap it for a standard one before you can put this tube in there. Okay. Now the T8 one here, um, this one here is for magnetic ballast only. There are T8 ones that can be operated on electronic. Okay, this is for your magnetic ballast. It comes with a starter. The starter is hidden inside the chassis of the baton, once again, because it's a sealed baton. So to change it, just take this plate up and then you can change it. All right, so I guess we'll fire, fire these up and we'll take a look. We'll start. Okay, now this is the T5. Now it just, it needed to turn on, of course, similar to the fluorescent, but once again, it's on. Okay, so that's your T5 LED. Now we'll turn on the T8 LED. So there we go. Now, is there a difference? Uh, yeah, the, the T5 one is a little bit brighter than the T8, I think. Okay. Um, considering, because T5 tubes are actually brighter than T8 tubes, to what I've noticed. Okay, even, even in this LED technology. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, they're both pretty good. They're both the same, similar colour temperatures. Okay, um, you can't really tell, but I think the T T5 one is more of a, um, is this one was actually 6,500 6, Kelvins, this one's 6,000 Kelvins. So this is 5,000 Kelvins more than this one, um, but they are still cool white. Okay, so if you want to have all your, um, if you have T8 ones that you put to cool white and you want to put T5 cool white in, in, you can. I've actually, I'm actually starting to see a lot of T5 buttons getting these now, okay. I'm actually starting to see T5 LED tubes showing up. Okay, so I thought you might as well buy some. Now the T5, now this thing here right, cost me about $23. This one here was only $10, so they are a little bit more expensive, but um, but it is worth paying the money because you do get much more compared to the fluorescent ones that they're replacing. The old F14s were old technology. They're not as bright and also they blow quickly as, but this thing here will last you for years and it's more efficient, especially even on an electronic ballast. It's still efficient. Okay, so, so there you go. So two... New technology tubes in both the T8 and T5 calibers. Apparently, you can't get them in T12. It would be nice to get a T12 LED tube, but apparently it's T8. Now, T8 and T12 well, do interchange, so your T8 LED tube will run in the T12 baton anyway. So, but there you go. 
Those are looking, working absolutely beautifully. I love them. I love both of the, I love the tubes. Okay, I'm gonna have fun with them. Okay, we'll turn that off. That's the T8 one. Okay, we'll turn that back on. This just needs to warm up. There we go. Okay, so it's similar to, it's similar to a, the fluorescent one. You get, it starts off dim, then it pops up to full brightness, but, but it's um, still an LED lamp. It'll still run and it will still replace your T5 fluorescent. Okay, so, and it's specially designed for electronic ballast. So that's the difference between a T8 and a T5 um, LED tube. So I hope you enjoyed and that'll be it.